Hi guys, Misty here. I am coming at you today. My kiddos are at my sister's house for a little while and so I am working on a customer's set of dominoes and I'm trying to get them finished for her. Um, so I just wanted to um, say challenge accepted, Mrs. Coffee. So my name is Misty Anthony and I have an Etsy shop called Misty Anthony Designs. I sell um, numerous things. But, um, I sell, um, polymer clay diamond painting pens, and, um, I sell resin dominoes, and keychains, and magnets, and, um, I also will, um, I also have a Cricut and, uh, make personalized things as well. And I sell them all on my Etsy shop. Um, I'm currently in the process of also, um, currently in the process of starting a website. I have not, um, completed that yet though. Anywho, um, so... I just wanted to introduce myself. I am an old <laughs> person. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm 37 years old and I am a stay-at-home mom that runs an Etsy shop. So I have three kiddos. I have a 19-year-old, a six-year-old, and a three-year-old. And they are all handfuls, but I love them very much. Uh, my husband and I have been married for seven years now. And we've known each other for longer than that, but um, when we first met, I thought he was a dork. And so I was like, no way. But then his dorkiness grew on me, and what can I say? Um, the rest is history. But, um, so, uh, my 19 year old currently lives in a different state. We live in Colorado. He lives in California with his dad. And we moved out here about a year or so ago, almost two years ago, I think. So been two years. I don't know. I think it's been one year. <laughs> I don't even know how long we've been here. But we moved here from um, from Sacramento. And, um, yeah. Uh, we finally found a place and we're settled into our own apartment and everything. And it's been really nice. Um, it was a little touch and go for a little while. We were homeless for a little while. Um, so... Um, yeah, that was absolutely no fun, but you know, you, you can only go up from, from there. So if you've watched any of my videos and you might've heard a few of my struggles, but, um, my husband ended up getting laid off of his job, um, that he had gotten due to COVID and then we found him a new job and um, he has been doing all right with that one. Um, although their peak season just ended, he is a, he delivers packages for Amazon, but doesn't work exactly for Amazon. There's like a, there it goes. I'm like, there's a bubble in it and it won't pop. Um, let's see. Um, so I, 
I typically do lives lately because I don't like to um, edit. Actually, I like to edit. My computer doesn't like to edit um, videos. So when I try to um, edit a video on my computer, it gets very mad at me and refuses to cooperate. Sometimes it'll take me two days just to try to um, edit a video. When I say edit, like I edit it just fine. Um, and then it, when it goes to render it, it just like has so many issues. It gets messed up. So I've been doing, I've been doing a lot of lives as like whip and chats because I, right now my following is, um, 339, which I am super happy about, um, because I used to think, oh boy, who would want to watch me, um, paint dominoes or, <clears throat> excuse me, or who would want to watch me diamond paint or, you know what, what whatever it is. <laughs> um, but there are people that enjoy it and so it's been really nice. To be able to do that and um, show the things that I do that I enjoy doing and so I'm just um, touching up some of these because when I put the um, when I put the paint in there earlier it must have had a, like an air bubble in it and when the air bubble pops it leaves like a, a weird dramatic hole in it and I don't like the way that looks so I end up touching it up to fix it. Um, so I am an avid diamond painter um, although lately I have I have had less time just because I've been running my Etsy shop and stuff and it's just me, my husband, um, you know, he, he does his own thing and I do mine. Um, he actually diamond paints as well. Um, so I've done 41 diamond paintings total. I've been doing it for about three almost three years now and uh i love it <laughs> like so my first my first run-in with um diamond painting was from paint with diamonds <clears throat> and i kept seeing an ad on facebook telling me about diamond painting and my first reaction was like oh my freaking god what is that there is no way I would have the patience to sit down and put these little things on there and no way no how my husband and I laughed about it because I, I showed it to him I was like look I was like do you think you could do that he's like heck no so you know we kind of laughed about it and but, you know, I actually do like art, so I was like, well, I don't know. And then I decided after probably like the third time seeing it in my feed that I would go in and I would look to see what kind of pictures there were, uh, you know, like what, what are people diamond painting? So I went in there and I looked and I was like, oh my God, look at this wolf. It's so pretty. <laughs> so I found this wolf um, and it's a wolf howling up at the, uh, the sky and it has the Aurora Borealis sky above it. So it's kind of like rainbowy, um, multicolored super pretty um and i had and i did research to find out well what would be the best size and 
I also knew from experience um, from cause my sister and I used to do digital scrapbooking, which is basically like, you know, creating a bunch of um, graphics and making them into a digital page um, that you can print out for scrapbooking. And um, so I knew, you know, something about dots, branch, and, you know, like stuff like that. So I knew that whatever whatever I got had to be a pretty good size um and you know it's it's only based on detail of what of how much detail you need obviously um so I went with I didn't even get the largest I went with like the third largest I think on that one it was a 60 by 40 so my very first diamond painting was a 60 by 40 well, I got hooked line and sinker right then and there uh, after I received it. It took, so I I think I bought it in March and then I didn't receive, <clears throat> receive it until May. And I was just super, you know, amazed about how fun it was, how relaxing it was. I thought it would be more stressful and more annoying, but it's totally not. Like it's it's definitely it's definitely relaxing and joy enjoyish joy joyish? I don't know. I had a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> and um my husband on my very first one he only placed about three three squares, so it was like three hundred diamonds on it. And, you know, he was like, oh, I'm going to go back to doing puzzles. So I was like, fine, I'll just do my diamond painting. Because he was supposed to help me. I asked him, you know, like, if I buy it, are you going to help me? He's like, yeah, because he and I were doing puzzles at the time. And then I decided I didn't want to do puzzles anymore. And I wanted to do diamond paintings. And so my kid's room is full of puzzles and the rest of the house is full of diamond paintings <laughs> so but I completely fell in love with it so hook line and sinker like I said so my next diamond painting which I hadn't even finished um I hadn't even finished the one I had yet but I knew it would take a couple months because Painting with diamonds was like they, they took forever um to send them out and so um i ended up i ended up buying my next one like right after i received the first one and my, so my next one was a family portrait of my my family and I um and I got it in a 80 by 120 <laughs> I felt like I lost my mind a little bit <laughs> because on one hand it was great and fantastic and like nice once it was finished, but it was a little stressful because, um, I don't know if you're familiar and I, don't, I haven't bought paint from Paint With Diamonds in a long time, but they, uh, so I don't know if it still is like this or not, but when I purchased from them, their 310s were horrid, horrid. They were horrible little monsters. <laughs> And it was terrible trying to work with them. And majority of my um, diamond painting was black. And so it took me a really long time to finish. Plus, both with both of my orders, they... Um, one of them they didn't give me enough drills and the other one they um and the other one they um missed a whole number. So 
I had to wait an annoying amount of time extra for them to send me the stuff. And so I was not happy with with them and so I decided to never buy from them again and plus I feel like they're more they're more expensive than what some of the other places were like on AliExpress and stuff like that and so I was not happy with how long it took to receive and so I began you know venturing out to other places and um and bought from other companies um, which was good and bad in a way because, um, unfortunately my next ones that I bought from was Huacan and it was during Drillmageddon. So unfortunately, right after that, I had to deal with all the popping drill mess and that I am just like, good lord somebody save me now because i don't deal well with the popping like i was like this is the nightmare i thought it would be <laughs> um to begin with so um yeah i i ended up buying a ton of diamond paintings from them during one of their 11 11 sales and so I, I think I bought, and at the time I didn't know they had sister stores and all that mess. Oh man, I got tore up because I bought from both the same company and, um, they all, they all had popping drills. It was a uh, total mess. So I bought from Evershine and I bought from Huacan, which is Huacan's sister store. And it was all bad, all bad. So, um, so that is, oh, and then, and this year we decided to homeschool the kids. So I don't have as much time, um, to film and stuff because they're not quite old. Like my six year old, I could probably occupy him enough to kind of behave, but my three-year-old has autism and he uh gets very he gets very irritable with his brother sometimes and so his reaction is to scream at him and so my house is really loud so um which is why i was concerned about even um, going live and stuff but I try to do it when they're not home but then I also try to you know like keep them occupied if they are home but it just makes it really hard to to go live these days so I try um I try to go live um, if my sister has them or whatnot, but it's it's really hard sometimes. So, um, and and that's why I don't have like a real set schedule. I try to go live once a week, but sometimes that doesn't that doesn't happen. And I, I was also um, at first I was also trying to stick with kind of having the the theme of staying with just diamond painting related stuff on my YouTube channel. But then I get tied up doing, I get tied up doing these other things, you know, with, with my Etsy shop and stuff. And so I decided to make it an all craft channel at this point, um, instead of just diamond painting. So if you like other crafts, like, um, resins or, you know, stuff like that, um, or if you just like watching somebody paint a domino <laughs> or, you know, just listening to someone chit chat about their lives, that's me. That's the content I bring. So, and I try to answer everybody's questions. So if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Um, 
but so I've done I've done 41 um diamond paintings my husband has done I want to say four or he's on his fourth I think maybe I don't know he's he's done a few but every time he says every time he does one he says he's not gonna do another one because he gets frustrated with it and then he and then he ends up doing it like right now he's working on a mystery diamond painting and he's enjoying the, the mystery diamond painting um but you know he he has a, a few different um hobby so he he was also working on a on on a lego sith um model they have like these little dot ones that are kind of like diamond paintings but they're really expensive and also it didn't take him very long to complete like i was like that, that almost seems not fun because you didn't even, you didn't even really get much time to do, like, you completed it in, like, less time than it takes you to do a diamond painting, so, um, and he'll, he usually likes to do, like, um, events, even though he doesn't, he's funny because he doesn't actually participate in the events, but... Like, he wanted to get a fall theme slash Halloween theme to do for Drills and Chills. But then he's like, I don't want to, I don't want to compete in it. <laughs> so, and I was like, okay. Um, but I ended up sending in a prize um, for my shop um, for her. So... I wasn't really competing in it either. I just, I was participating, but not competing. Um, I didn't even finish mine on time, but I had a lot of stuff going on with my Etsy store and stuff. So, um, so I was working on stuff for that. And, you know, like I said, I do have, um, other things that I work on. So sometimes I might be working on polymer clay pens and um, different things. I I find the art therapeutic and super fun. So um, I'm waiting for a package from Amazon, and it's like. Taking it sweet time to get here. I was gonna unbag it if it gets here while I'm still recording, but I don't know if it will. But I just I wanted to say thank you to Mrs. Coffee too for having a little events like this too because. It is definitely fun to be challenged. Um, and actually, um, Mrs. Coffee has been a great inspiration to me. Uh, because last last year when she did it, I think I was going to participate in it. But I didn't do it in on time. So I didn't submit it. I don't think I submitted it. But I just started doing it. And... <laughs> It's, it's a little different in the beginning, you know, like you're talking to yourself or you feel like you're talking to yourself and, um, maybe sometimes you are talking to yourself, um, uh, when you're a new, when you're a new, um, creator because you might not have that many views. So sometimes it, you know, if people don't comment or interact and sometimes you don't know if you know some if someone's even watching it um but like i said i have three uh, 300 something subscribers now and that's definitely an accomplishment for me like i said i 
love the community. I think it's amazing. Uh, I actually um, had um, a little bit of a following on TikTok as well. Um, my I had posted a video of me making a diamond painting pen that like went um to me I say viral but I mean really it wasn't I mean it got 13,000 views to me that's viral <laughs> because on my YouTube channel the most I've the most I got is, is so far is um no I'm sorry it got 30,000 views because my YouTube um, video only has 13,000 views that one uh, and I have a one video and um I have one video and, and it was me opening my largest diamond painting ever um which I have to get back to working on speaking of which but um it's it's definitely a balancing situation in my life these days um it's a little bit harder for me because the kids are home um today this this year would have uh, been um a good year because um my three-year-old was supposed to start um preschool and my six-year-olds in kindergarten so I was supposed to have at least I think it's like three hours a day to myself and then COVID happened and so I don't actually have that much time to myself <laughs> but it's been amazing to me how like it, it's like, I can definitely tell that it's, it, like, um, we've been staying home because I have, um, immunocompromised. So, I am not trying to get COVID at all, ever. Not that anybody is, but, um, I, so I stay home. Andrew, my husband, is the only one that goes outside the house. And so... He's the only one that goes outside and like my kids and I stay at home unless um, I go to my sister's or, sh or whatever. That's the only place we go. Um, but like it's it's been absolutely crazy because we have not gotten sick for anything. And like... When, with my kids in school, with my, well, I had one kid in school, with, with, uh, my six-year-old in school, he would come home sick, and then he would go to school, he would get, we would get him, he, we would keep him home, get him rid of it, and then we would send him back to school, and then the next week he'd be sick again, and I'm like, oh my freaking god, like, why is he sick all the time? But, this year nothing we've been perfectly fine and healthy the entire time why because we're going nowhere we're doing nothing and I mean that's the way I wanted to stay so I mean I just I can't believe how much of a difference it is like thinking they don't they must not make him wash his hands well enough or the other kids well enough or he's just too close to them or something because he's getting it every five minutes bringing it home to me and I'm dying with it and yeah it's it's been wow my neighbors are loud sorry about that so yeah it's been it's been nice to not have um sick snotty kids all the time uh, because that's the way it usually has been um, definitely nice sorry I'm doing like all this rambling you guys are probably like what in the world is she doing 
Shouldn't have done it in painting. I know, but Mrs. Coffee said we could do whatever, and I need to get these dominoes done for this customer, and you know, all that good stuff. So, so I figure, why not? This is, this is, you know, I mean, it's not boring for me to do, but it's, um, it's and I'm like, why not? Um, because, you know, during the resin pouring parts, it's a little, a little crazy. So I'm trying to, uh, you only have a little limited window of, of opportunity to be doing things. So, and I seem to always push it to the limit. <laughs> so... It's a little bit harder to do on camera. Although, I had a company from Amazon that um, are, were in negotiations of whether or not to do um, an unboxing um, type video uh, for them, for their company, and review their products. We'll see, though. We'll see. I wish there was like an easier way to like paint these exactly the way I want them to be painted um, because some of them are harder like I normally I take a tool and I dip it in and I um, do it I try them I try to do this a different way this time and I'm not sure I really like like it I mean, I did like it, but then once the air bubbles popped in those ones, then I'm like, what the heck is that? <laughs> so. So, um, let's see what else can I talk about. Um, diamond painting. So, my favorite diamond paintings are squares. I think um, that my favorite size is probably a 40 by 50. Um, just because, and, and that also depends upon, you know, like the, um, the, how much detail you need in the painting. Because, you know, if I could get away with it being as tiny as possible, I'd do that too. Like, I have some um, watercolor style paintings that, um, they have no faces, so they don't need that extra detail. So, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, and it's really hard on, on here to be a perfectionist sometimes, because it, like, Resin gets bubbles and stuff, and I try so hard to get all the bubbles out and everything else, but it doesn't always work out that way. So, I try really hard. Like, there's one in this bunch that is not level, and it's, like, kind of driving me crazy, but I had to do redo a couple of them, so I'm not sure if I want to redo that one also because i already had to redo so many of them because like i said i'm a perfectionist so it, it drives me crazy <laughs> even though i you know i tell them like it's handmade they probably are gonna have flaws like expected um i just get super picky about see like right here like i want the paint to do a certain a certain thing a certain way and it doesn't always want to cooperate with me and like I said I tr I did the dots a little bit differently than what I usually do them like I used this syringe and I put paint in it and then I put paint in the hole, and I, but I don't think I'm going to do it that way anymore. 
Like if I do, I'll just put add the paint and then I'll use the tool to spread it around. Because some of the dots I like accidentally like over filled and then I'm just trying to have to like what am I gonna do with all this excess paint and you know all that good stuff. So don't think I'll do it that way anymore. Let's see. Um what else can I talk about? Oh. I'm curious if you guys will comment below and let me know what your favorite shape is, what your favorite um, shape, you know, of drills or how many diamond paintings you've done. Um, I'm curious to know. Curious to know. I would have had a lot more finished if, um, if I didn't open an Etsy shop and, you know, start this journey of owning my own business, um, kind of a thing. Um, Cause it does it does take up some of my time but it's been so much fun like um having people tell me how like what kind what, what they want their dominoes to look like and um what they want their diamond paintings to um pens to look like and you know stuff like that and you know i I decorate um, tweezers as well uh, with resin and with polymer clay and um, people will contact me and ask me to make them custom custom orders and you know I totally love I totally love it it's so much fun it's so fun to create different ideas and you know I have ideas of my own my own thing and then they come to me and share what they want and what their inspiration is and it's much easier when they have an idea because I, I want to give them something that they love and that they really want instead of just you know something that they're oh okay I like it I want them to absolutely love it so I try really hard to get as much detail out of them as possible so it's always nice when they know like and are able to share their vision with me that's always nice Charger really quick. Are you serious right now? Sorry, I just got distracted. I told my sister she could call me on my son's phone.
But it's not even working. It's not even on. Ugh. It's not even on. Well, that's not helpful. And then it's not even plugged in on top of that. So that's not really not helpful. You just one sec. I'm trying to get the cord for my phone so that the light will go back on. Alright, we'll give that a second. Let me see if I can. Come on, I need you light. Where'd you go, light? Well, at least my sister didn't try to contact me, because she gets mad if she can't get a hold of me. Wish I don't blame her in case something does happen, um, you know, when she has my kids and all, so... This lady, um, this lady's order, she, she ordered a, a set of double nine dominoes. And I actually, I was only selling double sixes, but she messaged me and was like, Hey, can you sell me a set of double nines? And I'm like, what? Um, I would have to buy the molds for that. And I'm like, when do you need them by? And like you know like trying to figure out if it's doable and it's like super cutting it close so i'm trying to get them done and sent out because so with a double six there's 28 dominoes and Let's see, 28, and then I think there's 56 or 65. I can't remember. With a double nine. So there's quite a few dominoes, and this is only part of them. Um, because last night I poured some, and it was really, 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 really bubbly. For some reason and so um the backs of them got really messed up and on some of them and so I got a little frustrated and the heat gun got a little too hot and kind of made some of them look a little bad so I had to redo those ones and that's, that's the way resin is sometimes. Um, the other day I mixed up enough to do a set of dominoes and, um, I got one mold poured out of two and it had already hardened in, in my cup. I was so frustrated. <laughs> Um, so I had to throw all of it away.
pretty mad. Because it's like super wasteful. And that's one thing I dislike about, about resin. Like, I, I can't stand the bubbles and all of that. It's like bad. Oh. I just realized I have to turn it back on. I thought it would turn itself back on when it was available, but guess not. The only other thing is I still have not figured out how to get a solid looking, like fully solid um, domino because it seems like no matter what I color them with, like they do, they don't want to be um, opaque. I actually had a customer tell me that they didn't want their um, last one, set of red ones that they had asked me for because they were see through. Excuse me. Hmm. And I mean, these are really see through, so I don't know. I might have to put something on the back of them to minimize that. I just don't know. I don't know what to do with them. Cause I've I've tried different um different things like um let's see. This is supposed to be opaque dye and I put in about ten drops and it's still see through. Hmm. But so, I want to thank you all for coming along and um, cleaning up diamonds, diamonds, clean, cleaning up dominoes with me, and checking out my video. And if you would, please subscribe if you want to see more of my content. I, like I said, I do try to post weekly but I don't it, it doesn't always happen weekly but I do try to post weekly and then um I do um you know sometimes from time to time have contests and um stuff like that I do also have a face group a Facebook group where I actually give an exclusive coupon for my Etsy shop. So, hint, 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 people. If you want to get a discount on something. If you want to buy dominoes, let me know. I don't mind making them. I actually rather enjoy it. It doesn't look like my package is going to get here before my video ends. So, like I said, I appreciate all of you watching this until the very end. And if you have any questions, please let me know. You guys take care. Bye for now. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more Misty Anthony Design content. Bye! Hey guys, so I wanted to follow up and show <clears throat> the almost completed set of dominoes that I've been working on for this customer. Um, after I demolded these last few ones, I stacked a couple of them on top of each other and they stuck together. So I have like three, three more dominoes to remake because I'm not going to, um,
send it to her with chunks taken out. So, lesson learned. Um, when you demold them, do not take them out right away and stack them on top of each other. Just in case they decide they want to stick together for, like, ever. Um, and I've never had that happen before. Like, if they... Usually if they stick together, it's only like a little tiny bit and um, and I just give it a little tap on the table and they split apart, but um, that was not the case with these specific ones and so I am kind of a little frustrated because so originally I had done these and this one got really bad and this one and this one they like um they like got too hot while well, I, I was trying to get the bubbles out which created more bubbles <laughs> which is lesson learned on that as well um but see um this one had a chunk taken out of the side right here like it had a really big bubble so i tried to fix it by putting some resin in there but then um it leaked through to the bottom and gave this part a second layer and i tried to fix it with uv resin but it just doesn't look it just doesn't look up to par so i'm gonna redo this one um, this is where it's stuck together and um, like the bottom of one of them stuck over here and took a chunk, took this chunk out and then this one stuck together and took a chunk out. So I'm just not satisfied with how those turned out so um, I'm very very picky when it comes to things like these. I'm not going to sell somebody something that it would irritate me. So, um, because of that, I have decided that I'm going to fix them and replace them. But it just gets frustrating because, um, I replaced like five of them when I first poured them. And now I'm replacing four, three more. So I hate to waste, but it gets it gets frustrating because I don't want to sell somebody something that looks awful. So, um, I also realized that when I was recording earlier, I didn't record for quite a full hour. So I decided that I would add on to my recording and make sure I get a full hour this time um, since my kiddos are in bed, or they're supposed to be. I'm going to be able to video a little bit. I can't talk too loud because if um, one of them hears, they may wake up. <laughs> So, and it's really late, but I'm really trying to get these done because I want them to go to the post office ASAP because the customer is expecting them very soon. So, I really hate, like, using my fingers to wipe off this acrylic paint, but, like, <laughs> It definitely, like, works better than, amazingly enough, it works better than trying to use a wipe on it. I don't know why. I guess maybe the wipe gets down in the groove too far, but, like, it seems like, it seems like it does better if I... Just wipe it with my finger. And I hate getting this paint all over my hands. 
But, I suppose I could wear gloves and try it, but I don't know because the gloves are kind of big on my fingers. They're like, I mean like in between sizes, I think, with gloves. One's too big and the other's too small. Like it doesn't fit on my fingers correctly. And there are flaws still on the faces of these, but I'm, some flaws are expected. These are definitely handmade products and so I can't fix everything that I would like to be fixed. Um, but do you have any suggestions on what to do with the, I, I was thinking about making these like keychains or something, um, but because I don't want to throw them away, the face of them look pretty good. Um, so I'm debating, should I sell them as keychains, I think, I think anybody would buy them with with flaws on them comment down below if you think so or what you think I should do with them because like I said I don't want to just throw them away that doesn't I have a drawer full of things that I um, haven't sold or or like they're not perfect and I haven't decided what to do with them yet so my poor kiddo was feeling sick all day and I, it's funny because I just got through talking about how they haven't been sick at all but then I think it was because um, he was feeling like constipated. So I think um, that was part of the problem because now he's perfectly fine. But he literally like slept the whole day away. I was like, why are you sleeping so much? Are you sick? Uh, what's wrong um and he, it said he was i have a thermometer a forehead thermometer not the ones that they came out with after covid where they you know infrared it without touching you but i have one that's like a forehead one and it said on his forehead he was like 98 but on his cheeks, because his cheeks were like really rosy red, which told me that he probably had a fever. But his cheeks were 99. Yeah, I was just like, okay. I mean, 99 is not a fever either, but... Um, but he was like, everything was telling me, indicating that he wasn't feeling well. Um, so, I don't know. He ended up waking up too, uh, with night terrors, or he was in pain, we're not really sure, um, because he was, uh, not consolable. And so, I'm thinking now, that it could have had something to do with him being constipated, but he acts the same way as if he's having a night tear, so that's really, 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 really hard because he usually can be consoled and would be perfectly fine. Um, you know, like once one of us like rubs his belly or his back or something, but this time he was just like, Nope. Okay, what the heck? I thought... Okay, so this one has a flaw too on it. And I'm not sure why. But I'm going to go ahead and redo it. I'm going to redo the other one so I might as well. 
So that's what I'm saying. Like, I can't get over the imperfection sometimes. And I get critical of my work. I'm my own worst critic for sure. Um, because every time I produce a set of dominoes for someone, I have total anxiety. Like, are they going to like it? Are they going to hate it? Um, kind of a scenario. So, um, but I, I think I'm a little hard on myself. I mean, I can totally acknowledge that, but I worry for sure how they are perceived and I haven't had any any negative reviews so um, everybody seems to like theirs their set so far um, there have been a few that I'm still waiting to hopefully hear back from um, but still haven't heard back from most of the holiday orders yet but I may not, you know, because some of them are presents, and so the person who ordered them may not actually um, come back and give any feedback, so. I can't believe how easy that is. That I actually um, was watching a YouTube video where the guy was painting and he's like, I just use my fingers. And I wish I could remember his name now because I'd totally give him full credit for it. Um, and he's, I know he has a channel and he was talking about um, pressure pots. And he's like, I just use my finger to wipe off excess. Because when I wipe off excess, see what I see what happened there? If I wipe off excess with the wipe, it pulls the paint out of the ravine in there. And it's not very shallow. I mean it's very shallow, so um it's harder to keep the paint in there. This way I have to kind of because I was just like leaving it in there and letting it dry but as you can tell I have to scrub it after that happens and it doesn't always oh, I, I thought if it dried then it would stop wiping it so deep, but I don't know. Anyway, I do it different ways every time, I guess. Not every time, but I try to do it, try to experiment for the best way to do it. The fastest, easiest. Especially when you have uh, so many dominoes. Like, I'm used to only doing 28 because this is my first set of double nines so I'm used to only doing 28 dominoes and here I am painting like a double set so it's definitely definitely hard I forget sometimes not to do it because that's how I'm used to doing it. Oh well. Only paint, I can put it back on. I've debated for a while trying to figure out if I just want to paint these or if I want to resin paint them, like add resin to the paint or find something other than acrylic paint but the nice thing is like if somebody buys this product and they decide that 
they hate the yellow, they can always just paint right over or wipe down and wipe away the yellow and change it to a different color with acrylic paint. So it's really easy for them to to change it if they decide to, which I think is nice, just in case, because I actually did a set of dominoes for a friend of, well, uh, she's been a um, diamond painting friend for a while on Instagram, and she ordered a set and she got she said she wanted rose gold and everything that i have a, a pink gold or a rose gold just looked at the end of it it just looked um orange and i'm just like it doesn't look right and she agreed she's like no i don't like that and so I was like, I'm perfectly okay with changing them. Let me know. And then she decided to just go with a regular orange on her, um, cause she had dark blue and then she wanted, like I said, the rose gold, but she ended up going with gold and she's like, I love them now. And so I'm like, good. Cause I was stressing for her. Or a little bit because you know I want to make I want to make the set that they want that they'll love you know forever so so I try really hard to give them exactly what they what they want what they love and what they can you know, live, live with, and not just to settle. I don't, I don't want someone to be like, oh, I'm just gonna settle with, with what you're, with what you did, even though you may not like it. Um, and sometimes people don't always give me full, full information on what they want. They want me to decide, and then those ones really scare me because, I'm like, what if they're, what if you don't like what I like. I mean, that's why we're all different people. Because we all have different thought processes and what looks good to one doesn't look good to another. We all have different tastes. So, it makes it really hard. Uh, I have another set of um, 28 that I need to make. And the customer's like, I trust you to decide um, what colors are best. Uh, these are the colors I like. Now pick the three that you like best and get as creative as you want. And I'm thinking, okay, but you're technically asking for more than... You were technically asking for more than um, colors because she asked for glitter too, which glitter to me is a color because it's more material. Basically, any any materials that I use to color the dominoes is a color. So, if you ask me to use, um, you know, any anything, if you ask me to use alcohol ink or um, glitter or sand or opaque or you know anything like. If it's a if it's a different material and a different color then it's a different it's a different color so because the more the more things I have to add the more difficult they become so to to get right so, so that just means I have more containers too that I have to make you know put together um, like if it's three colors I have to have three different containers to keep the different colors in because it's really hard to mix inside the mold um, 
And it's better if you don't mix it in the mold, which I've found. I used to try to mix it in the mold and it would not it would not work well. So So I have all of these done that can be painted now. Looks like so cool. I really love doing dominoes. It's so much fun. Like I said, you get to see all the different designs that people like and you know, different different thoughts and logos and types and all of that. It's definitely nice. Um, this one still has paint spilling over. I still have paint all over me. <laughs> okay, so... I gotta make sure I wipe it down too because I painted them with the intention to go back and wipe them down and then I forget sometimes but I'm such a perfectionist that I like look really close before I package anything up like even that I will end up fixing that I guess set it down on the end and fix it because I don't like when it sinks in like in an awkward angle. Some of them are hard to tell because when you look at them with a shadow, they look like they're messed up. And then if you look at them at a different angle, then they're fine. And I also go back through and make sure that I don't leave any paint on the sides as well. Sometimes, see, like right here, I got paint on the side. So, I also check and make sure there's no sharp edges, too. I definitely don't want anyone cutting themselves on any dominoes. <laughs> so, I try to make sure that there's no. No paint, no excess, no uh, paint on the top, on the outside holes. Like, I really, like, I really hate that. And then the last thing that I do after I finish painting and everything, I actually put these all back in the molds to make sure that they're all there. <laughs> you know, after several times of fixing things and stuff like that, I, I just, I go back and make sure that they are all good. I think I'm going to redo this one too because it's going to flaw on the front. But, yeah, if you ever order from me dominoes, then they'll be darn near perfect. <laughs> Since I strive so much to make them as perfect as possible. There's a lot of dominoes to be responsible for in this set, too. It's like, I think there's like 56 of them. Okay, I need to fix that one. And that one's dots. Okay, so my phone is dying and my husband has my cord, so I'm going to go ahead and end my chat here. I want to thank you for um, hanging out with me while I fix some dominoes and paint some dominoes and 
all that good stuff. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more Misty Anthony designs, products, reviews, um, diamond painting, you know, all those good things. Um, but more Misty Anthony design content. Bye for now.